Hey guys, this is Miss Marfan Levin, and today there's two things I'm gonna talk about. Number one, um, I'm gonna be talking about Plain Rock One Two Four. That's number one. Number two, we have two or three more days left until I do an unboxing video of the new 2DS XL, and I'm still gonna do that. I'm going to see if I can get a few things. Also, I'm going to see if I can get Sonic Adventure 3. I mean, Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 for the PlayStation 3, which is in my room. But, enough of that. Let's get started. <clears throat> Plain Rock 124 is a YouTuber who does tech destruction videos. But, here's the thing. I'm not trying to hate. I'm not trying to do anything that stops him from what he wants to do. It's his own videos, but the reason is why. Why does he do what he does? Some he said it himself that he does it for YouTube um YouTube ads, uh for money and just for fun for some reason. Which I can understand uh making money off of YouTube because literally everyone even I guess me, even though I don't have money yet, I mean, even though I'm not getting paid yet on YouTube, people make videos for money. And I'm sorry about that. Oh, by the way, look, I got this uh, Dragon Ball Z, which, as you can see, there's Son Goku, or Kakarot, or whatever you want to call him. <laughs> I personally call him Goku and Kakarot, but I call him Goku most. Um, but this isn't about Dragon Ball. This is about playing Rock 124. I, I don't hate him, but I don't like him either. I'm, I dislike him. That's what I'm going to say. I dislike him because of his videos. Now, he made a new video called Moving On. Well, the title is called Moving On, but he's moving on for his, um, MacBook Pro. And, to be honest... I don't think he should continue making tech destruction videos. I think what he should do is either uh, maybe review games, maybe do like why this game should be thrown out the window or why this game should stay. Let's say uh, Son let's say Sonic and the Black Knights. He makes a review called Sonic and the Black Knights. Will it be thrown out the window or will it stay? Or Bat or Lego Batman. Uh. Should I games leave out, uh, should be thrown out the window, or should we stay? That's what I wish he can do. But instead, he goes, make the, he destroys, um, phones, game consoles, uh, tablets, and computers. Not only for fun, but because, um, apparently he, he's, wants to make money of course and the video there was a video where he was on the news saying the reason why the the person playing rock one two four shouldn't be making videos around especially the way how he makes his videos i was just watching two videos of it boar smashing new nintendo 2ds pikachu edition and Hate comment Pokemon it Pokemon fan where he his if you new to his channel he does board smashing. What he does was he's um he unboxes it, plays around with it, tests the durability, and just finish it off with a giant sledgehammer. Hate comment is when he does certain fans, let's say Nintendo, PlayStation, Sega, Pokemon, Dragon Ball, Naruto, whatever you want to call it. And he does either game dies or consoles, and he will throw them or rip out from one to five paint, one to five, one rip or one, I mean one page or one throw. If the comic to him is annoying, and five pages or five throws, if he, if it makes him feel like he want to hang himself or kill himself or whatever. There are videos where he where he's wasting money, 
where he should go kill himself, where he should stop doing videos, or saying that he's that they're um, unsubscribing. But he doesn't care because in his videos it shows all of his um, videos and how many subscribers he's winning or how many how much money he's doing. He even does videos where he flex certain things. I say how to flex uh, an an apple card or how to flex something stupid like that. But two of the videos I watch is how to flex an apple card and how to flex a Tesla. So basically he's telling you how to become a spoiled rich boy. That's what basically he's teaching you. There's also vi there's also one video which that got me hurting in the end. Not hurting as in like it makes me upset and cry or makes me want to go in, into the um, comment and say, Ooh, I think you should stop what you're doing. Go and kill yourself or blah, 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 blah. I don't care. Not that. It just hurts on the inside because I'm a Nintendo fan and destroying something that's rare, that's rare and hard to, well, rare is basically hard to find. Rare in a unique game just for YouTube, it's not really worth it in the end. I think he shouldn't be doing this. I think he should... St I'm gonna tell him... I'm gonna say... He should stop doing tech destruction videos. I'm not saying he should stop doing the YouTube, period. He can do YouTube, but I just think he should stop doing tech destruction videos. The how-to is funny. Uh, the how-to not. And I guess it was a little funny, but still upset. Which... It makes me want to just cry on the inside. But I'm not going to do that. Because I know he's doing it for YouTube revenues, for fun, and just to make money. Because like I said, everyone on YouTube nowadays, even me right now, is doing YouTube for money. Well, technically, I don't really do YouTube. Well... I don't really care if I get paid for YouTube because I'm not going to compete for anyone. I'm not going to say that someone's YouTube channel is trash. I'm not going to say that they should do better. I'm not going to say any of that. Even though what you're going to say is, but didn't you just say playing Rock 124 shouldn't do this or shouldn't do that? I know. I'm not Here's the thing. I'm not going to compare myself with other YouTubers like playing Rock 124, Anime Boy Me. Super Mario Logan or anyone else, even Dashy Games, which if Dashy Games, if you're watching this, I want to say thank you for all your YouTube, for all your videos, including the Super Mario Maker series. I hope you continue that. Never stop, and I hope you continue it because I don't care what my youth. I don't care if it doesn't get a lot of subscribers. I don't care if if I don't really get paid for YouTube. What I, here's the thing, I do YouTube for fun and to bring smiles for everyone. That's why I do YouTube. I don't do it for money. I don't do it for fame. I don't even do it for the views itself. And here's the thing. I don't even care if a lot of people don't even view it. And whoever views it, good for them. Whoever don't, again, good for you. But I'm not hating. I just think that I just really don't care if my YouTube channel does good or bad. In the end, I don't stand anything to lose. The only thing I'll be losing will be my channel because that's the only thing I'll be losing. I'm not going to lose really anything because... I'm not going to compare myself for other YouTubers. I'm not going to say their YouTube is trash. I'm not going to say anything of that because I don't say anything to gain for them. If they want to do what they want to do, that's up to them. But all I'm going to say is what they should do instead of doing what they do. And this goes for Super Mario Logan. I'm not going to talk about him so much other than playing Rock 124. But I will say this. I've been watching his videos... From the Bowser Juniors, 
to Chef Pee to Bowser, to mm, Jeffy. And I think that, he, here's the thing, a YouTuber, which he stopped, his name was GameCube Dude 300 and apparently GameCube Dude 300 and Super Mario Logan had a fight, and he used to be a Super Mario Logan fan, but due to Super Mario Logan and their beats, I'm not going to talk about that because that's their business. Because of that, he stopped making Super Mario Logan videos. But his but his Super Mario Logan videos are still out there. So if you still want to watch it, go ahead and watch it. But it's not from his channel. It's going to be from someone else's channel. Who, who, who are able to pick up his videos. Here's the thing. As soon as you tell them... What they're doing wrong and what they're doing right, or they shouldn't do this or shouldn't do that, people will defend. People will take offensive. They will start threatening you. They basically will do anything to keep what they are and not learn, not realizing what they just did. Playing Rock One Two Four makes the tech destruction videos makes makes things like say nine eleven trying to make it funny, which in the end is not really that funny. Which, in the video, Boar Smashing, New 2DS Pikachu Edition, he made a joke that the date was 9-11. Which, if I'm right... No. Which would be around September 11th. That's not funny. Plain Rock. Plain Rock 124. If you're watching this video, don't make jokes like that. It's not funny. It makes you seem like you don't care. People lost lives because of that incident. People, and even the people who survived it, had cancer because of that 9 11 incident. And yet you think that is a good idea on your video to make that joke. I want you to take a moment and think about that, Plain Rock. Take that moment and think about it. Making jokes like that is not funny. It's nowhere near funny, but hold on before you get on defensive, because I know YouTubers are going to do that. Here's the thing. Another YouTuber named Savage17, which by the way, I like his videos too, he said that com comedy is subjective, which means that what's funny to one person, I mean, what's not funny to one person may be funny to others. So it may not be funny to me, but that doesn't mean other people um, don't find this funny. Which I'm not saying don't make, it, don't make jokes like that at all, even though I just said it a minute earlier, but... I'm saying, for my indication, it's not funny to me. But let's say if I had a, I don't know, a friend Tom. I said I don't like it because it's, I don't, I said I don't, this joke is not funny. But maybe Tom thinks it's funny. Comedy is always subjective. Uh, subjective. What's funny to, what's funny to someone else may not be funny to others. Or it may not be funny for others, but it's funny for someone else. But we're not talking about that. Again. I think he should not do text destruction videos. He destroyed new, old, and rare consoles. He destroyed a Virtual Boy, which is a rare, which no one really likes. It's one of the worst Nintendo consoles, which I'm not even mad that he destroyed it because it's the worst game console, but in the end, it's a rare console. Even if it is bad, I still think he shouldn't destroy it. He destroyed a Sonic Mania, uh, car, um, Sonic Mania, it was something Sonic Mania, where you had to get like the whole set, and it's like the, uh, Genesis. He destroyed that too. He destroyed the Sega Mini Classic. He destroyed an Xbox, two Xbox. One was a Fortnite edition, and one is a Minecraft edition. Which, by the way, 
in that video, in the beginning of it, a lot of people say they wanted Fortnite. If he's going to destroy that, they want to destroy the Fortnite one than the Minecraft one. He made a lot of Minecraft video, uh, Minecraft jokes. In the in the fifty ways to break a uh, Nintendo 3DS, one of the ways is how to how to get Minecraft for free. You tear up a page of a Minecraft survival kit or something like that. One of them game guide books, and in in board smashing Xbox, Fortnite, and Minecraft edition. He ended up destroying a Minecraft edition Xbox One. I believe it was an Xbox One or Xbox One X or S. I don't know. It was one of the war. But he destroyed it. <clears throat> and here's the thing. I'm not that kind of YouTube. I'm not that kind of YouTuber or fan that said he should go kill himself. Or he should... He should stop wasting money. Apparently, if he has that kind of money, do what you gotta do. But I'm saying, at what cost? You're destroying rare consoles, which is hard to find, like, say, the Virtual Boy, or the GameCube, or the N64. It is hard to find. But then again, he in his videos, he shows that he can get, like, 10, 10 GameCubes for only, like, $10 or something like that. The point is, it's rare and it's hard to find let's see if it wasn't cost ten dollars what if it cost like a million dollars what if you can't even find it around in america what if you have to go to china in order for you to get it it's a rare console you shouldn't be destroying rare stuff which he doesn't just destroy consoles he also destroys phones but let's talk about that for a second <clears throat> he didn't move any on videos he did moving on house. He did moving on i iPhone special i iPhone special edition. Moving on Wii. Moving on Xbox. I mean, Sam. I mean, iPhone iPhone ten. Or he, he did moving on uh, iPad Pro or something like that. But honestly, I don't even care because I watch all the I watch all the moving on videos. In the end, he either keeps it or destroys it. Mostly, he will destroy it than keep it. He had to... And I think in the moving... Which, by the way, I kind of like Siri talking like as a real normal person. I kind of find that funny. Which, I think you shouldn't stop that either. I think you shouldn't stop that because that is funny. But... Still, I still think you shouldn't make tech destruction videos. It's not good. It's nothing but a pile of waste of technology being destroyed. And literally, here's the thing. You never think of this. In the video, moving on iPhone 10 to iPhone 11 Pro, there was a scene where even though he did all the voices and did all the acting himself, there was a part of the video where he shows how the iPhone 11 Pro was made. Which, if you think about it, that is true. Developers take the time, blood, sweat, and tears. Not the blood, not blood literally, but sweat and tears. They, they always say, oh, I put my heart, my, I mean, my blood, sweat, and tears to making this. Which is not, which is not literally, it's just figurative. Meaning that it took a lot of hard, it took a, a, a long time, hard, and it takes a lot of time to develop the iPhone. I mean, uh, certain things. And let's say you develop that one that took you up to 10 days. Only to find out that a YouTuber destroyed it. How would I make you feel? Like, I spent 10 days making a brand new Nintendo Switch Pro. I'm just going to say that. I made a new Nintendo Switch Pro. 
It took me 10 days. I can't see my family. I am in debt. I don't have any money. To end up destroyed? That makes it feel like all that time, all that energy wasted. Wasted because of that one YouTuber. If you're watching this playing Rock 124, realize the mistakes you're making. Realize the destruction that you cause. Because literally, it's going to knock on your door and it will get you in the end. Give me a moment. It took a lot of time to make technology. It takes a lot of developers. It took a lot of planning. It took a lot of days to make it. It took years upon years upon years to make technology. Only to find out that that one YouTuber wasted it. And even in the video, when in that video, board, I mean, moving on, iPhone 10 to iPhone 11 Pro, even though that's not the title, it's just called Moving On, Made in China. Even though, in that, even though he plays all the parts, like I said, in that scene, he said, you need to stop destroying technology that was made in China. Which... By the way, it's hard to not destroy anything. I mean, it's hard to destroy anything because literally every technology will, again, not, well, some te most of technologies are made from China. Like this, like my iPad, which I'm recording right now. That's probably made in China. This TV, which you can't see. I mean, my TV, probably made in China. The fan, made in China. Uh... The lamp, I mean the nightlight, made of made it made in China. The PlayStation 3, made in China. The Switch, made in China. My phone, made in China. Do you see what I mean? Now he could have continued because he was doing fine. He was doing fine. He didn't have to destroy anything. But no, when he found out that that cat that his um. His um, vlogging camera was out of focus, and he found out that that camera was made in Japan. He destroyed it. He was happy that he destroyed it. And he even said himself that he's having, and I quote, tech destruction withdrawals. So you're basically saying you have OCD, and you cannot, and you cannot function without destroying a technology. That's basically what you're saying. And I think when he pretend like he's killing himself, there was, on his wall, he's, I think it's fake, but I'm, I believe it's real, but I think it's fake. That it says he was born in China. Hmm. <sighs> I'm not angry. I'm not mad. I'm not even happy either. I'm just disappointed at him. Disappointed that he destroyed technology, which people take a lot of years to make. Please, playing Rock 124. Realize the mistake you're making. If you're gonna make any make videos about tech, technology, then do like you did for your latest new video, which is moving on iPad. I mean MacBook. 
where we didn't destroy anything. He kept the voice. You try to make it funny. And you kept it the way it is. You didn't destroy it. You kept it funny. And I like the voice acting. I want you to continue that. Don't go back to tech destruction. It's not good. Well, that's all I'm just, that's the only thing I can say to him. Now, whether he takes the advice or not, it's up to him. I'm just a simple YouTuber who try to make the world happy when everyone else is down. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. Please like it, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And hit the notification so you can get a big update when my next gameplay, reaction, or stuff like that happens. Again, keep in mind that I'm still going to do an unboxing video either on Friday or Thursday. One of the or, or maybe even Saturday because... And maybe the next video I'll talk about finally why Teen Titans Go is a bad show. So, see you all. Have a day. Peace from Mr. Martin Levitt, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.